Hey guys, Ali here. So about two weeks ago, I heard about this new documentary called To Die For. It's actually not released yet, but two weeks ago, more or less, I heard that there was a trailer coming out. And so now it's out and I wanted to react to it and I wanted you guys to see it. And I think that this documentary is going to be very important for people that don't understand proper human food. So I think this documentary is going to be pretty cool. Let's watch the trailer. We don't, we don't want, want to make, make this documentary. So for a long time, I was really apprehensive about sharing our story. I really felt like our story was kind of hard to believe. It's just like not, it's not part of the conversation. If synthetic dyes are having a small but real effect on the population, which the data seems to suggest they do, that is going to generally lead to a slight increase in attention problems and hyperactivity problems in children. The more of these you have, the more you slightly move the population into a direction where more people are actually having clinical problems. Any change you want to make, oh no, you know, too costly, oh, science is bad, those scientists are crazy. So... I just want to back it up for a second because the doctor or the gentleman that was speaking was talking about more and more people having issues um, with dyes and these dyes being in our foods. And then it directly goes to somebody taking medicine. And I'm really curious if that medicine is psychiatric medicine. where more people are actually having clinical problems. Any change you want to make, oh no, you know, too costly, oh, science is bad, those scientists are crazy. They know it causes cancer and they still use it today. People are spending thousands of dollars on prescriptions or medical bills. A lot of that could be fixed with the knowledge about our food. My kid is having a hard time, but it's not that he had a bad day. He's kind of having a bad day life. We see it time and time again from all the studies, artificial food dyes have a very negative effect on children's behavior. So I noticed the main foods that they're showing are actually like the, the quintessential foods that we give to our children, like canned fruits, uh, junk food, all, all of these things have dyes in it. And none of these foods are actually foods we should be giving to our kids let alone it has the dyes in it. But if we just didn't give that stuff to our kids, they would be in a better position. But I believe that this documentary is going to shed some light as to another reason why we should not be feeding ultra processed, disgusting uh, fake foods. There's enough science now to show that these shouldn't be in any products ingested by humans at all. So look That's so funny. That's literally what I just said. I just said that. And then this lady just said that we are going to listen to that again. I, I, I said what she just said. There's enough science now to show that these shouldn't be in any products ingested by humans at all. To look at a seven-year-old who just wants to die. If he continues like this, he won't make it to his teenagers. The unavoidable fact that they're in so much of our food supply is one thing, but the dirty little secret of what these chemicals are doing to our body is another. Why would you not let a parent know that, to try to avoid these foods or industry, take those additives out of the food and nobody has to avoid anything? It's like those night thoughts that normally you just brush off and you don't think about. When you're on diets, they get loud. They get to be like, hey, are you sure you want to be alive right now? And it gets really hard to not listen. It's a small change on average for the population, but it's one that has some long-term consequences. It's just so crazy how something you don't know about has such a huge effect on behavior. Like all these kids who get labeled as behavior kids, what if it was just die? Okay. Well, I think that trailer is awesome. I think that documentary is going to be awesome. It's going to help a lot of people. It's disgusting. It's terrible what's been done in the last 50 years and we need to reverse it. And documentaries like this one is going to change everything. Documentaries like Healing Humanity, which I've been helping on uh, for the last year and a half. These are the documentaries that are going to actually like help people to give them a clue of like, oh wait, we've totally been brainwashed about how we should be eating as human beings. And, and this is like the ramifications of what has happened, but this is how we handle it. So I'm excited that these types of documentaries are coming out. I really like that one. I'm going to put in the description 
the link to that YouTube channel with that trailer so you can follow it. Um, and uh, yeah, because they're doing a good job and I think that documentary is going to be awesome. So there you go. That's my two cents. That's my reaction to this. Go watch this uh, trailer beginning to end so that more people, because I'm just watching it right now on my YouTube channel. But if you guys watch it, if you go watch it separately on their YouTube channel, it's actually going to help push it out on the YouTube algorithm. So more and more people can be made aware of this documentary and that it's coming out. Okay, cool. Thank you so much. Let me know what you think. Like, subscribe. Talk to you all later. Bye.